Hello and welcome to yet another episode of the Euroman Movie Report. The show where I talk about a movie I have recently watched at my local movie theatre. This week I'm going to talk about The Conjuring 2. The Conjuring 2 is of course the sequel to The Conjuring from 2014. About paranormal investigators Ed and Elaine Warren who were from the 1950s until I think it was about 1990 investigated paranormal incidents in the US and in one case in Europe. You guys of course remember from the first film uh, that it took place in the early 1970s and we had this family uh, where the father was played by Peter Gibbons from Office Space. Uh, they had bought uh, this house and in this house they had gotten a demon infestation and this demon uh, wanted to kill the entire family but uh, the Warrens together with the Catholic Church drove out the demon. In the beginning of The Conjuring 2 uh, the Warrens are in the middle of one of their most famous cases, the Amazable Horror Story, about that uh, there was this man uh, in the mid 1970s who murdered his entire family and at the trial uh, claimed that a demon had made him do it, so the Warrens were investigating that claim. And in uh, this uh, instance uh, uh, we see that uh, the Warrens have uh, gathered this seance uh, at a table in the house where the murders uh, took place and Elaine Warren, once again played by Vera Flaminga, she moves out of her body and walks around uh, in the house reliving the murders. And there she comes across this demonic entity uh, which looks like a zombie uh, nun with vampire teeth. And you see the creature in the trailers as well, so I'm not giving too much away by talking about it. Meanwhile, in the UK, more precise, at a location called Innsfield, uh, I guess it's near London, there's this council house where we have this woman uh, living together with her four kids and um, she starts to get plagued, um, or more precise, her youngest daughter starts to get plagued by uh, this uh, demonic entity. She starts to speak in strange voices and starts to levitate uh, in the house and furniture is thrown around and this of course gets the attention of the Warrens in the US and they travel to the UK to try to investigate is this a real paranormal incident or a hoax. And um, yeah, um, uh, the movie in general is somewhat scary. It's not scary scary, but it's scary and it really contains some good jump scares and I was fairly entertained. And uh, the acting in general, Vera Faminga as Elaine Warren and Patrick Wilson as uh, Ed Warren, they do a good job returning to play the same characters from the first film. And we have um, Simon McBurney, uh, uh, the British guy who always plays this uh, civil servant type uh, uh, in many other films. Here he plays this uh, British uh, paranormal investigator and um, also we have uh, Franca Ponetta, uh, you know, uh, Maria from uh, the Bond films. She plays another paranormal uh, investigator who is very skeptical about um, if this is a real haunting or a hoax. What uh, makes this movie like the previous Conjuring stand out is of course that it's based supposedly on uh, untrue events and um, that makes this um, movie stand out uh, among the other horror films out there. The, the effects in general except uh, the bit with the crooked man which looks like something out of The Grinch Stole Christmas, uh, they are generally good as well and James Wan's um, direction, it, it's great and um, yeah, I hope they make a Conjuring Part 3 eventually. That's because um, uh, the Warrens, they did investigate uh, several other incidents which would uh, make a, a great horror film. But um, I found uh, our original uh, BBC uh, news uh, program about the Innsfield horror, uh, Poltergeist, and I have uh, placed a link to that video in the description so you guys and girls 
can watch it uh, if you would like to do that. So all in all, if I'm going to rate The Conjuring 2, I'll give it 3 out of 5 stars. That's it, your main of your man's movie report. Thanks for watching and don't forget, if you like this review slash movie talk, please give it a thumbs up. And if you uh, want to watch my previous reviews slash movie talks, you can click a link in the description. But um, I will return next week with another movie review slash movie talk. Until then, have a blessed weekend and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.